Hey everyone, this is Dave and Cheryl. We got our 275 RLS open range, a 2021 model here for sale. We're gonna give you a quick review of it. We'll start in front. We got two 30 pound propane tanks. Front storage that goes all the way through. Plenty of room. I've still got stuff in there. Got automatic awnings with the push of a button they come out. Got outdoor speakers in the awning, outdoor lights under the awnings, and keep going around. We've got stairs that fold up into the trailer. We like that, they're not hanging around outside. We're getting road debris now. Coming around, I got the ventilation for the refrigerator. I added uh, two more fans in there to keep the circulation going, keeps that. Keeps that fridge running better. Outdoor kitchen with an outdoor gas cooktop. Faucet you can connect up there. You've got a hose to go with it and a mini fridge. Over here, got your outdoor television. Got some wheel covers too for those uh, sunny days. They're coming around here. Got an outdoor barbecue grill rack that hangs your barbecue out here and a gas connection. You can do some grilling outside. Easy to get on the roof. It's a walkable roof. Got a PVC on top instead of rubber. That's nice. Here's your filling station, your docking station. It's got a flush tank system. Hook up a hose and get that black tank flushed out. Get all the slides, keep them all lubed. All the seals have been lubed. I put little covers on all these little ventilation areas so the bugs don't get in there. We got RV snap pads on the lowers. Automatically track, no cranking. So you don't have to go around blocks or anything. You put underneath the leveling pads. Well, not leveling pads, they're uh, stabilization pads. So let's go inside real quick. Okay, we'll start out in the living room, make our way around. Well, it's all living room, kitchen, dining room all at once. Got a nice little coffee bar area here we like to use for that. Got four drawers and two slide down areas. Bench seating, there's storage underneath and front storage accessible so you don't have to take it all apart to get in there. I put an extra power strip over there. Two recliners, vibrate, heated, and lights on all the vibe, on all the uh, recliners. You got two uh, nightstands here, I guess you want to call them, because this is a fold-out bed. It's got uh, sleeps too. We never used it. And this comes around here to our television. It swings out. Got a fireplace under here, but we don't have electricity hooked up to show it to you, but we do use that. It also throws out heat. We got a sound bar, a pantry. I added a lot of extra shelves in there. Little tie downs and tension bars when you're driving. Storage above, kitchen area. We got a three burner cooktop with a glass cover on it. Very nice. Microwave, of course. Here's the fridge. Also got some ventilation fans in the fridge to keep the air moving around. And underneath we got, for your dog or cat, a little pet drawer. We never had pets, this is a pet free zone. Not that we don't like them, we just don't have them. We did have a little mishap where something was caught under the slide and it kind of tore the vinyl, but she's patched up. And this beautiful rug comes with it. I also added this a little flip up on the island. It's a locking shelf for extra room, extra space, eating, whatever you want. Clips up and just folds away. Oh, we also have over here, I forgot to tell you, underneath these sofas, I got two little drawers that slide out just to put the little stuff in. And it gives as much storage as we can in here. 
Now we'll go out to the bathroom. Nice little hotel hair dryer there, stays connected. Nice walk-in shower. We also have a ventilation fan that we added up top. It's not those cheap little models. It cranks it up pretty good. Sucks the air right out of here. And then to the bedroom. Queen size bed, Serta mattress. Storage around the whole thing, including storage. Storage down below, storage up here. And then over here, this is a big closet. Can also put a washer dryer in here and it is set up for plumbing in here. And then underneath the bed, it was my wife. I made the storage underneath the bed about six inches bigger all the way around. So you got a nice large storage area down here. And that is it. That's our that's our RV. We're asking 389. It's a 2021. Oh, we did I did put heavy duty suspension on it and put brand new equalizers on it. And we got new tires, got rid of those China bomb tires. Put some nice tires on there. Road Armor Equalizers, redid the brakes, and thanks. Take care, folks.